Hi everyone, it's Koto. This video is a collaboration with the fellow door customizer Oli. We decided to make clone inspired doors. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I customize Madeline Hector from the Ever After High. First, I am cutting and removing her factory hair. I am using a screwdriver and pliers to remove the hair from inside of her head. For the new hair, I am using spring rain nylon from Retro Doors. I am using my rooting tool from Dolly Hair to plug in the new hair. I am putting hair in every existing hole on the head. My rooting technique is a bit different from others. I will lose a bit more hair during the reroot, but in this way I can work faster. When I finish the reroot, I am using white glue to secure the inner part. I am carving and sanding every of my ever after high doors body. I am starting with scratching down the hair surface of the factory panties with a carving knife. Later I will use different types of sanding sponges and sanding paper as well. I am also removing the casting lines from the arms and legs. In the end, I'm using a magic sponge to remove the smallest scratches. To remove the factory paint, I am using acetone and a cotton pad.
Here you can see how I started to make the new face, but unfortunately I noticed a big asymmetry in the end. So I removed the face up and started over again. I usually have to start over the face up often ever after high doll, at least once, because their eyes are not molded so I can make mistakes easily. Second time I went with a bit different style. She will receive a more sweet look. I am using pastels to add highlights and blush the face. I sprinkled some freckles with watery watercolor paint. I used these watercolor pencils on the face. I will not add other clown signs to her face, so she gets a modest clown look, nothing too crazy. To make the eyebrows, I am using pastels first. When I am happy with the shape, I am using different watercolor pencils to draw the hair and make more realistic brows. I am adding more layers to the mouth to intensify the color. I am using a white pencil to add some highlights around the eyes. I always darken the end of the eyebrows a bit. I usually use black for this. I am mixing these gouache colors to create the perfect nail polish for her, which is fitting to her hair and mouth.
It is time to sew clothes. I am using a black ribbon to create the color. I am using my pattern to create the upper part of the dress. For the bottom part, I am layering two fabrics. Time to dress her up. I really like her new dress. She will be very pretty. She is wearing a collar, a cute pink dress, long socks and a pair of shoes. She also has ribbons in her hair. Here is she, my sweet clown inspired girl. I hope you like her. Thank you for watching and don't forget to watch Alice video as well. I linked in the description below. Bye!